Hi friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to understand operations management and under that change management. So these are all some specific topics which we are going through. The need of change management, origin from where it's going to come and how we have to control that and what are all the quality management system updates that we need to do to have a complete closed loop system. In the purpose, we need to understand for maintain the sustainable quality we need to have the change management because when we are having a sustainable quality that means to say the customer is going to have a lot of trust on us and for his all his future business decisions this trust is going to play a very very important role so that's why we need to have a right change management in place so even if there are some changes because of internal or external sources we are going to easily control that and manage that so with respect to origin, we will understand from where all the places that a change can come. It can come from the competition, like some person uh, has done certain new innovation. So we have to do that particular thing in our process or in the product. So it can come from the competition and it can also be requested from our customer itself. He is doing altogether a new model in his particular uh, product or the service. So he expects us to change a lot of things in our value addition process. It can be changed in the technology itself. So he is expecting a new kind of technology or the complete mindset of consumers is changing from one technology level to the other technology level. It can happen. So it can happen from people change also. I Means there are certain skilled manpower who are operating here and it has been changed because of an internal issue. So there is a change and we need to manage that particular change and it can come even from a material means from lot to lot there can be some changes in the material we need to understand that no two products or material can be very same so when you talk at a very very minor level there will be certain amount of differences and we need to tolerate that and that particular variation should be within the acceptable tolerance levels so then only this particular change management will play a very important role. So in that there will be of course a old way of doing things and when we do a change there is going to be a new way of doing this particular set of things. So we need to have an engineering change request to start with and then finally we have to record in an engineering change by allotting a number to them. So ECN means to say it is engineering change number or note. So this is going to be done after we got an engineering request, change request and then we took all the necessary precautions and management related to topics including validation and other things and finally it is ended up as an engineering change that is in a working condition. Your QMS update also plays important role means to say it is quality management system update and here there would be production part approval process also maybe we are supposed to do based on the customer agreement that we are having with him or some runner rate also may change that means to say there can be some issue in the amount of parts that you are going to produce in the same time because of changes sometimes these kind of things and all happens so we may be a case of a new feasibility commitment itself so because of a change that altogether made this particular project as a non-viable. It can be from a commercial point of view or it can be from a technical point of view. We need to be again clear on that. And finally, in the tech review also, we have to take all those things into consideration. Tech review means to say it's a technical review where based on the changes that's going to come, we are going to sit across with respect to the cross-functional team and we are going to see whether it's going to be feasible not feasible to make it feasible what are all the actions that are required to be done all these things needs to be done so finally when we do all these things they are going to be a closed loop from the request and to the feasibility commitment and then to the validation then to the execution and finally close loop with the QMS update when we do all these steps a change management is going to be concluded so to conclude, uh, we are going to have a origin of change management, how it's going to come, uh, we will be understanding like how exactly engineering change request is going to come and then how we are going to do a transformation uh, to engineering change node and finally we are going to conclude the change management itself. 
So that's all in this video. Thank you so much.